Owning a Tesla is the new American dream, but in this global economy, it doesn't look like it would be easy. Honestly, every car Tesla puts out is a masterpiece, so you can't help but crave all that brilliance in your garage. Seeing as how Tesla's cheapest car at the moment is the $35,000 Model 3, how many regular people can up and buy a brand new Tesla? It seems Elon Musk and his team are looking to change this narrative. Today, we're going to be discussing how Tesla's latest model could tear the gas car industry apart. Elon Musk's vision has always been to facilitate and hasten the world's move to sustainable energy. Musk has said at several interviews that Tesla, quote, to achieve the transition to sustainable energy, we must produce more affordable EVs and energy storage, while building factories faster and with less investment. So we see that, at the core of their vision, is building as low cost a vehicle as they can. In 2006, Elon Musk released a really comprehensive list of the company's main goals, and it was a very interesting read. Part of it was how the company would create a low-volume, expensive car, then use the profits to create a medium-volume car at a lower price, and then pump out something more affordable at higher volume. The goal may have seemed very far-fetched at the time, but Tesla's current models are a manifestation of the vision. Even the part of their vision that says that Tesla wants to, quote, expand the electric vehicle product line to address all major segments has majorly become reality. Tesla is already creating electric vehicles like semis, pickup trucks, vans, and even hatchbacks. Battery Day 2020 was where Tesla first mentioned their plans for a competent $25,000 passenger vehicle. Musk said he wanted to do something radical like the Cybertruck. He described what he had in mind as being something that would shock the world. He was confident that the mystery car would be compelling and would fit into the goal of affordability while still being fully autonomous. He calculated that it would take a short three years to bring the new model to the market, going as far as specifically mentioning September 2023. There wasn't a lot of shock accompanying this announcement because of a rumor that had started in early 2020. There was an official government report about a new Tesla car being produced in China specifically the Tesla Shanghai Gigafactory. The cheaper new model commonly referred to as the Model 2 could be ready to hit the streets as early as 2022, according to these reports. China is the perfect place for Tesla to produce from, due to it being the biggest market for electric vehicles in the world. Let's not forget that its government support for EV producers is top-notch. The Shanghai Gigafactory is also high-speed and highly efficient in manufacturing. It only took the facility 10 months after launch to create and deliver the first vehicle to a customer. Because of its low supply chain and low cost, the facility has an annual capacity of 500,000 units, and it's supposed to be the production site for the all-new Model 3s. The Model Y and the upcoming Model 2 seem to also be on the production docket. What this all translates to is the Model 2 could definitely follow in the footsteps of the Model Y and be delivered ahead of schedule. Earlier this year, Tesla China president Tom Zhu confirmed that the new Tesla would be sold globally and that production was already well underway. A new local research and development center is also in the works and at the site. Everything from vehicle design to engineering, development, and testing will be carried out. Zhu estimates that the center would be done within a year. With a lot of estimates and uncertainties flying around, there's precious little that we know so far. We know that for sure, a smaller car will be produced soon, and it will be smaller than the Model 3. We also know from Battery Day that its batteries will be lithium iron phosphate ones, the least dense and the cheapest battery type. This battery is one of the main contributors to the car's affordable price, and it should give the car 200 to 250 miles of range. We also know that Tesla's battery suppliers have a $6 billion investment in lithium-ion projects that have already started impacting the Model 3 in China. That's why the timeline for producing the car will be so short. The important part will be mostly done. The new model will first be offered in China before it makes its way down to the USA. If by then the new EV tax credit bill gets passed, the car could then get a price reduction to a ridiculous $19,000. If the government passes the Green Act bill, that would allow for $7,000 in tax credits for 400,000 Teslas. This would only happen if the Model 2 hits US shores with the new tax credits in place. For this, we have to be optimistic that the Model 2 really does get produced ahead of schedule. The Model 2 at this price would be a huge hit in the gas hatchback market because that's the price range of the more popular gas cars. Even if the Green Act tax credit does not get passed for EV manufacturers in the US, 
the $25,000 car would still be a sweet alternative to the more popular gas cars around that price range that have been discontinued, like the Honda Fit and Toyota Yaris. Keep in mind that the base Model 2 will only offer essential and minimal services. Any additional service would have to be paid for separately. Things like full self-driving software and a different paint color might fall right under the additional service bracket. The company's signature drivetrain, safety standards, and battery efficiency will most likely be uncompromised in the new model. Add the capability of over-the-air updates and capacity for full autonomy, and you realize just how great the vehicle is. The design of the car isn't readily known at the moment. Tesla's design center has been trying to produce something as impressive as what Musk wants at the moment, but they could not. They had to send invitations to anyone in the general public, and submissions were allowed from people. Car designers who were trained for it are often very detached and conventional. They are trained to be careful and play with their design safe. Nothing like that stops the average person who just wants to draw a car and admire it. While everyone is pumped about this car, we also need to remember how much space the car has. Not a lot. That translates to a smaller battery than what Tesla usually uses in their cars. It'll probably be much like the Volkswagen ID3 that has a 45 kilowatt hour battery pack and provides about 205 miles of range in its base model. Tesla has a plan to give old batteries a second life. This would come to play by recovering and recycling expensive materials like cobalt, nickel, and lithium through its Redwood Materials affiliate. The second life applications of old electric vehicle batteries would be in grid systems like the one Tesla built in South Australia in 2017. If Tesla starts to reuse the batteries in the upcoming Model 2, it'll slice off a lot of production costs and still make profits. Ultimately, this could lead to a further reduction of the car's price and a large implode in the world of affordable internal combustion engine cars. What do you think about Tesla's big plans? Do you think the gas car industry will really feel the pinch? Let us know in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe so you don't miss out on anything Tesla and Elon Musk.